line number flow lines should be labeled to show pipe size line service identification line number line material piping class and the line pressure rating so this is all the things is comes into the line number most of the companies have their own method of the numbering lines the company have their own methodology to have a different different kind of the line numbers how they present on the projects typically a line number will be assigned to a primary flow lines and then incremented as it branches if there is a no in house process to number the lines start at the upper left line on the pnid and use that as the lowest number assign the numbers up to each piece of the equipment it means once they complete with the process line numbering then they start with the another line numbers do this for all the lines next start with the outlet of the lines it means when they start with the equipment outlet if you have a tank or you have a pump so whatever the outlet lines are there then they start with that all the line numbering once all the primary lines are numbered once the one the primary lines numbered okay secondary lines should be numbered with the same methodology the line number should be continuous from piece of the equipment to the next it means the line number is connectivity with the equipments this would not be applicable if the piping class does not change one line number may be indicated more than one line size but not more than one class whenever the piping class change a new line number will be assigned when the line number is change the piping class is get change you get the spike break and the line number is get changed header will have a line numbers separate from each branch header have their own line number it cannot be matched with the same branch short connections such as vents or drain can be included under the same valve number of the line from which it ties into it means if you have a one line it's connecting a vents a drain it will not it, it will not have be a, another line number it should be considered in the same line number we have a one of the examples of the line numbering if you have uh, you can see uh, 44 inch nit 500-040 bb-2 inch sc so this is a one of the line number example it should be get if you have working in a some of the project so you will get this kind of line number or you can get some another line number the concept of understanding a line number it will be the same if you have a 40 the so 40 is stand as a unit code if you have a 4 inch it's the line size you have a fluid service you have a sequence number 040 bb is a pipe specification 2 inch is a insulation size and sc is stand as a insulation type you can see over here we can get uh, you can see these things from the legend like uh, what type and what things is stand so you can see here you can get the serial number unit code medium code is a uh, fluid service is this diameter in the uh, destination for inches is like uh, what is the size of the pipe size in uh, inches most probably pipe specification is made upon a fluid same spec cannot be used for the another fluid service every time you have a different fluid and you have a different spec so you cannot use the same spec for the same line number it means you can here check out the unit code this is uh, everything you will get from the legion sheet legion sheet will give you a uh, this part of the line number what is the serial number unit code okay and here you can get the what unit code it stand for and what fluid abbreviation because when you see our line number the 40 is stand for a unit code and nit so we don't know a uh, abbreviation of what is a fluid and what is a what is a nit so we have to check on the legend we have to go we have to check a unit code here you have we have a 40 a unit code is a nitrogen system 
and fluid abbreviation was NIT so here you can see NIT is a nitrogen if I take a one more example if instead of 40 I take 33 and instead of NIT I take MPS so what we can see here 33 is stand over here LPSP system steam system in the unit code you get the idea 33 is standing at the steam system and fluid code what is the fluid we have that side MPS okay so here I come on the fluid abbreviation here I can see MPS is a medium pressure steam so whenever you see a line number okay and you have to check this thing what were things it stand for and here you can get the unit code and the fluid abbreviation here I have one of the example for the PNID how the line number is they have given on the line okay when you see here is a one inch DW stand for a fluid 28 pm stand for spec and 36.2713 it will stand for the sequence number in what we have seen an uh, example there was a lines uh, there was a unit code was there and uh, insulation size was there insulation type was there on the line number but they have present as insulation on the line okay and they have given what type of the insulation it should be so here they have written WT but they have not mentioned the size what will be the size of the insulation so we have to check out with the senior or we have to check out with that document from where we can get the size of that insulation here you can see the spec break when the spec is get break so you have a different kind of number you can see the line is coming from here okay and connecting to this one so here is a spec break from this part to this part okay the, the line connecting to this and it's spec is getting break over here so this line it will be included on this line number and afterwards you will get the new line number you can see here the insulation WT WT and here is a different kind of an insulation here you can see this is a dotted line here also dotted line so it should be a tracing but here we have to just put insulation here you can see the spec is BR 74 PA and here you have a BR 62 PA but the sequence number are different 91.1501 91.1301 here you can see every the fluid is different the spec is different and the sequence number is different everything is changed this is the way how the line numbers are present in the PNID and how we can understand which line number is till where and uh, when when things is get changed when the spec breaks comes the line numbers get changed this is the equipment see you can see over here this equipment to this equipment see here given one line number here nothing is a spec break or nothing is anything is there so it should be a continuum so you have to take a one line number here you can see here we have a spike break so the line number it should be different okay so this is the way when uh, you can understand uh, how you can uh, see the line number the line number is not fixed for one project whenever you do a different project in your life in your experience every time you have a different method of you will get a different method of the line number but that's only the things like you have to see the legion whatever in the legions they have show you the serial code number a fluid service so you have to understand from that and you have to just find out the uh, legend sheet and uh, you can easily identify what line numbers say to me and what what things is stand for or the line number is given into the PNID so this is all what I have got the information what I have knowledge so I have shared with you okay and uh, please just uh, sub subscribe to my channel and uh, I will bring up more videos to help to understand the basic idea of the piping engineering and uh, like uh, how you can uh, identify the things and what you have to understand but the small small things is like just a basic idea what you have to need this is uh, good for the starter and the beginners who can understand these small small things uh, it will helps to them to understand in the project and what they have to do in that project and what what things have to be have to be uh, see into the documentation and uh, it will 
nice to them and uh, it's really and uh, thank you